Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pramod Malik from Department of Laws, Bhagat Phool Singh, Mahila Viswidyale, Khanpur Kala, Haryana. So today we are going to discuss one of the important topic that is registration of patent. Yesterday we have also done the overview of patent. Now if someone has invented a new thing or having utility, now he can apply for the uh, this registration of patent. So, we are going for the procedure of registration of patent now. So, before that I want to just give one, uh, this overview of just uh, of patent in one slide. This patent we can say it is monopoly right which is given to the inventor by the government for limited period of time. So, limited period we have discussed already yesterday it is 20 years. So, when this limited someone is want to go for the registration then he can entitle for the 20 years of monopoly rights. So, one of the important concept under this registration is registration is compulsory in nature. It is mandatory in India or any part of the world because by registration the patentee will get so many rights being an he be, this inventor become patentee entitled will change he will get so many right he will exclusive right now to use or to exploit his patent commercially and he can restrain the other person from using this particular patent. So, that is why registration is compulsory although there are so many other species of intellectual property rights which are uh, of which registration is not compulsory. For example, in copyright registration is not compulsory, uh, for trademark registration is not compulsory, uh, they are optional in nature. It depends on the this uh, the nature of that particular trademark or uh, we can say copyright or it mood of the that uh, this tra trademark holder or copyright owner whether they should go for the registration or not, but it is advisable you should go for the registration of patent as well as registration of copyright and trademark. So, this is in Indian Patent Act 1970 it is mandatory in nature registration of patent is mandatory. So, we can say this registration is territorial in nature if someone is invented a new thing in India then he has to go for the registration after that he will entitle for that patent. So, but he has two option whether he can kept secret or he can disclose that invention to the general public. So, for that disclosure we will give him monopoly right of 20 years on the basis of quid pro quo. Yesterday we have also discussed that this is the principle on the basis of which the encouragement will be given to the creator or the inventor for this limited period of time for 20 years. So, if someone is going to disclose his invention to the society to the government and when he fulfill the essentials of section 3 as we have already discussed in this lecture of patent in lecture of patent section 3 inventions which are not patentable and section 4 the inventions relating to the atomic energy are not patentable. So, if a particular inventor fulfills the requirement of section 3 and section 4 and 3 other requirement of this patent what we can say first one is novelty, second one is utility and third one is inventive step. So, when the inventor fulfills these three essentials of patent then he is entitled for the registration. Second thing is when he is not comes under the uh, we can say inventions which are not patentable under section 3 and section 4 then he can go for the 
next step that is registration of patent. So, under this registration of patent, we can say he has to fill form 1 which is for, uh, we can say here, we, he can file a request for the registration of this patent and he can also file with that uh, this we can uh, say here provisional specification because uh, this principle, this patent principle is based on the principle date of priority. From where this date of priority will be, uh, we can say determine from date of filing of patent that is the most important thing. So, first and foremost thing for inventory is to just file a patent with just only one uh, title of that particular thing with abstract of the inventor he, invention he has created. So, that is the main thing just when someone has idea or done something and he, he has 12 months time to file a complete specification, we will discuss here uh, about this provisional and complete specification also. So, here the major thing is the date of priority from which you, your patent will be started for 20 years. So, first and foremost thing for you is to just file an application with provisional specification with some one page of abstract only. So, here 12 months is also given to you for filing of complete specification. So, that is the major date from which your patent will be started. So, here just I want to tell you about the invention that there must be new product or process, you can also get patent on either process or patent or both, it must be some inventive step or capable of industrial application. As we have already discussed, new thing must be there, some inventive step must be there or it must be capable of industrial application, some type of utility must be there for getting a patent. So, that is very important definition for registration of patent. So, now who is the true and first inventor? This definition is also given under the Indian Patent Act 1970. Why this definition given? Because so many times there may be chances ki if you are a true inventor, but some another person has filed a, uh, this uh, uh, application for registration under form 1. So, how we will determine ki who is the first and true inventor? From this definition we can say it does not include. So, under true and first inventor, it specifically says about ki it does not include the first importer of an invention into India. If some invention is already done or patent is granted to in any other country, so the person who has import that particular goods, a particular invention in India, that is not entitled, it will not come under the true and first inventor or the person to whom an invention is first communicated outside India. So, here these are not comes under the true and first inventor. The true and first inventor, the person who has invented this, that particular invention in India and he can also authorize some other person, but the main thing is the person who has invented that thing that is a true inventor, that is the that scientist or the that pharmacy person or any other person, any citizen of India or any other person also. It is not necessary that that person should be citizen of India. Any person can file this patent in India by if he has invented it which fulfill the criteria of this essentials of patents. So, there are four offices of patents in India where we can file an application of patent. So, first office is in Mumbai. So, we have this divided India into four zones and the st states were also this divided into the four zones where the zones of Mumbai includes the Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Goa, Chhattisgarh and UT of Damandeep and uh, this Dadra and Nagar Haveli. So, these states or the these UTs are comes under the this Mumbai office. So, none, now the second is office is Chennai. So, uh, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Telangana and UT of Pandicherry or Lakshadweep are also included in Chennai office. So, here these are the offices which uh, we can say deals with the application of these, we can say the territorial jurisdiction of these offices also divided. So, for example, New Delhi office which are in uh, sector 14 of Dwarka, New Delhi, it includes the north states, northern states 
it these includes haryana himachal pradesh punjab rajasthan uttar pradesh uttarakhand delhi so specific zones are divided and this kolkata office includes rest of india so if any state which are not included under this for example north eastern states are there so many other states are there for example west bengal is there so all these states are comes into this kolkata office so if any person who belongs to himachal pradesh will go to the new delhi if any person who is from gujarat will go to the mumbai so specific zones are divided for filing of patents in these offices so we can say here uh, as per your jurisdiction as per your territory you can go for the registration of those and special patent offices are also opened Uh, in each state for example in haryana or rajasthan there is rajasthan state council for science and technology and dst is also there uh, in department of science and technology at central level also and in every state for example haryana state council for science and technology is also there for and there is specific ipr cells in each state to help for registration of patent or for every help they are providing to you for registration of patent similarly so many universities so many iits have also mhrd centers which are also providing you awareness as well as procedure uh, for registration of patent so many ipr cells are also there different ipr cells other than mhrd centers they are also providing you uh, help relating to registration of patent so if we see so many iits or so many universities they have also ipr policies and with in which they have given the uh, we can say advice also and they have also making contract with the inventors with their teachers also with their students also by taking license we can take example of iit kanpur they have also commercialize exploiting their licenses or the of patents in the form of licensing to Uh, different companies also so that is a good part of india there is not centralized system there are these four offices are there where we can go go for registration so now uh, i want to tell you about this these special things which are called specification what it means this these specifications are the we can say uh, technical details about the particular patents so we can divide this specification uh, this uh, for uh, into two parts first one is provisional specification second one is complete specification so uh, what we can say it is technical detail so technical details about the this particular inventions so yesterday we have also talk about the uh, we can say the invention must be known obviousness in nature so non obvious means who will tell you about your invention is new or it is having some inventive step for example you are not aware about the latest development going on technological development going on so you think your invention is new but first you have to go for on the internet on the we can say patent uh, search website is there you can go to that and search whether this patent uh, is already there in your area or in in your invention if there is already patent is also already granted then you have no right to file patent in your that particular invention so first you have to see and second if there you are fulfilling uh, the essentials and there is no patent on that particular uh, this uh, invention then you can just go for this uh, filing of patent application and uh, with form a1 with complete specification that is the because date of priority is determined from date of filing of patent so provisional specification we can say is just a summary of your patent it is a just a simple detail about your patent it may be abstract of your patent it may be one page we can say abstract of your patent title of your patent or all, all these things so i want to tell you about this provisional specification includes first one is a title which title you want to Uh, give for your this patent or invention you have to give written description it, it may be we can say abstract you can say summary also it may be of one page 
two page, but here just you have to file a patent in hurry. That that is the mat, uh, that matters a lot. So written description must be there and drawing if any. If the you can also submit a drawing if that is if you think it is necessary for your patent or if you want to file a claim then if it is necessary then you can also file a patent. So, the major thing about this provisional specification is you have to just give an advance money. For example, if you are going to buy a plot, so a plot is of value of 1 crore of rupees. So, can you give directly 1 crore to that owner of that land who is going to sell you that plot? No, you are not going to um, give 1 crore rupees in cash in hand, but you are just giving an advance token money to that particular person. Advance token money means you are giving 5 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees for making uh, this promise ki he will sell to you and some power of attorney or some uh, contract we can say uh, this uh, contract for sale is or we can say before that agreement to sale is entered between the seller and buyer for physical property also. But it means that agreement to sale is a precondition of sale and 3 months time period is given to you to give remaining amount of 95 lakh rupees. For example, plot is of value for, uh, 1 crore rupees and you have to give advance token money. of rupees 5 lakh rupees. So, remaining amount you have to pay 95 lakh rupees within 3 months as general uh, nature of contract is there for physical property. So, similarly the objective of provisional specification is to just you have to make sure ki you have filed your patent and in physical property 3 months time period is there. Similarly, in this we can say here 12 months is also there for filing the complete specification. We can go for that complete specification also. This is a complete specification. So, here uh, when you file a provisional specification or it is not necessary ki you can file an application with this provisional specification. You can also file your application directly with complete specification also. What I want to say here, here you can also give 1 crore rupees directly for buying of that plot. Now, it is at your consent whether you are going to give directly 1 crore of rupees or you are going to give token money of 5 lakh rupees. So, you can mint spe, uh, this provisional specification as a token money of rupees 5 lakh. So, here after 3 months you have to give complete specification, complete detail about this, about your invention. So, now fully particular this, uh, this complete specification must describe the invention fully. So, it must include the operation, use or method by which it has to perform. Now, in provision specification you have already seen it is just mere a title or detail about your invention, but now you have to give around 50 page to 500 pages of detail about how your invention work, how, what are the uses of that, what are the method by which you are going to perform your invention having utility or having inventive step. So, you have to disclose the best method of performing the invention which is known to the applicant or for which he is entitled to claim protection. Why you are going to claim now protection? If there is the claim you are making on which basis you have to disclose that thing which is the method of performing here you must give exact detail on the basis of which the patent expert or the controller will grant you that patent to you. So, this is a main thing on which this thing is given and with the claim claims defining the scope of invention for which protection claim. So, you have to give claims that is defining the scope, what is the scope of that patent. You, you have already given the method, now what is the this scope of that particular invention, you can say what is the utility of that particular invention in future time. 
so that is also related with the known obviousness ki how what is the scope what is the known obviousness nature of your invention relating to that so it must be accompanied by abstract or provide technical information of the invention so abstract you have already given in provisional specification but in as a toto you have to submit all the documents relating to this complete specification so here we can see now who can be an applicant now we have already discussed the true and first inventor here under section 34 what it says any person claiming to be true and first inventor we have already discussed true and first inventor so you must be true or first inventor for that and after that now applicant can be assignee now as i, I already told you about this he true and first inventor can himself file an application or he can sell or he can assign that invention to any other fit if for example sabir bhatia invented a new thing he can assign that particular invention to the microsoft so many people are there so many people does not want to go for the patent also for example uh, this uh, tin burner lee who has not uh, want commercial exploitation of his patent he has relinquished tin burner lee who has invented www so that is also the person who has invented a polio vaccine so he has also not taken commercial benefit from that so there are so many people whether here under section 134 he, we want to discuss here the major thing either the inventor himself can go for the patent or he can assign the person next person through him can be a claim to a true and first inventor in respect of right to make such an application so there is no bar ki who is going to be the applicant any person whether legal hires legal representative or spouse can also be an here applicant there is no such thing and again in next slide it is also given the legal representative of any deceased person so same application same principles are there as we think about the physical property so in first lecture we have also compare the physical property with the intellectual property so it has same traits it has same characteristics except non rivalrous in nature it can be used by so many persons but physical property is used by only one person or one apple can be eat by one person or but we can say in intellectual property or in copyright or in patent that particular patent or copyright can be used by infinite number of people we can use one particular photocopy of notes to number of students we can give those notes or we can give pdf file to thousands of people or and owner has having same copy but here also the in the case of deceased or in the case of this first and true and uh, this inventor assignee can be this applicant the inventor can himself can be an applicant in the case of deceased person this legal hires or legal representative of that particular person can be a, we can say uh, this applicant so now the major thing is this application can be filed jointly the he can file alone also the true and first inventor can this uh, for example if we are writing a book we can write book uh, alone also we can write book, uh, book jointly also similarly we can write research paper jo joint also here also this application can be made either alone or jointly with any other person so that is also beauty if that particular inventor is busy in his lab or in his uh, work so he can also take help of any other person or or his family member or any other his colleague for filing of that patent for example if any person is working in particular university as a professor so here university and that particular scientist or professor can file an application jointly so that is a case under this so now what are the essentials of an application for filing a patent as we are fi this filing application with form 1 so the major thing is 
every application for patent shall be for one invention only. We can't give the we can file we, there may be a joint applicant alone or joint applicant, but there must be separate application for each invention. Here what this point want to say here ki we can't file an application for more than one invention. So, separate application must be filed for every invention separately. So, similarly every application shall be accompanied by a provisional or complete specification. As I told you on the as to determine the date of priority you have to file an application either with provisional specification with abstract or all or complete specification with whole detail. If someone is going to file an application with provisional application then he has to file a complete application within 12 months, but it is not mandatory you have to file a complete application with application. So, uh, where an application for a patent is accompanied by provisional specification one uh, this case is there one uh, we can see option is there when you are going to file an application with provisional specification complete specification may be filed shall be filed here word shall has been used you have to file complete specification every detail of that specification within 12 months as I already told you from the date of filing of application and if complete specification is not so filed the application shall deemed to be abandoned. Please take into consideration this word two words are there shall is there there is the word may is not there there is shall and there that abandoned your application will be get rejection from the patent office. So, that is a main thing relating to that. So, these are the complete and uh, provisional specification detail under Indian patent Act. I think section 8, 9 these are specifically related with these, uh, these specifications or other things also. Now, I, I want to tell about the authorities. Now, we can start from the upper limit there we already discussed with you this uh, these four offices. So, here we have a joint controller we can say now controller is also there, we can say a deputy controller is also there, we can say assistant controller is also there. So, examiner is also there, so each one has to perform its own duty as the filing of application is here. From when you are going to file an application with the help of patent agent they are technically sound. So, it is advisable if you are a known science background you should take help of whether patent ex this agent or you can take example of uh, you can take help from the these uh, the person who has expired in these filing of patents. So, uh, these are the authorities and four offices also there uh, throughout India and territorial jurisdiction is also we can say assigned to them. So, now this controller the person has power of civil courts also and I want to tell you about before that the there are some other powers of that the power of controller So, why I want to tell you this uh, from E part because he has power to award costs. If frivolous these applications are there or the applications with the mischievous objective he has also right to award cost on the applicant if they are filing mischievous applications or we can say fraudulent applications. So, to save the time of these patent office he has also power to award costs. He can also review his own decisions. So, very good power is there he can review its own decision if that patent is not granted or uh, in which cases patent is granted, but it must be within prescribed time or prescribed manner. So, as per the provision of patent act now patent litigations and patent pendency rate is very less as compared to 10 years back. Why? Because now we have NPR policy was passed by government of India in 2016 and so many peoples or so many we can say these experts or the 
uh, we can say examiners are appointed by government of India uh, in patent offices. Now, under this national intellectual property right policy, this government of India has made very good infrastructure for registration of patents also for other types of intellectual property rights. So, I visited Dwarka office also, you can see now pendency rate is very low and now the major thing relating to that is now you can file online applications also for copyright or other rights also that is very important thing you can this file patent these application online also. So, this controller of patent have right to review its own decision this power to review also, he can also set aside an order passed ex party on application V. So, when an application is rejected or we can say set aside this ex party, he can also or he has passed an order ex party when another party is not present. In that case, he can set aside that order, there is no such thing in that because an order is passed without following the principle of ordi ultram partum let here the another party. When another party is not this heard by the that controller and when he, another party is appeared and this giving the justified cause, then he can set aside the application. So, any other matter which can be uh, this given and after that I want to tell you about the this uh, the major thing here under this uh, section 77, what are the these powers? which are given that this controller has same power of civil judge which are power to hear the suit under CPC 1908. So, what are those powers? He can summon that particular person which is related to that, he can enforce the attendance of that because civil judge has power of all these under CPC, he can require the discovery and production of any document. Now, first thing is for person he can summon that particular person and he can take uh, attendance of that or examine him. He can take evidence on oath also. Similarly, that he can also here receive evidence on affidavit. Similarly, he can examine him on oath. Here, we are talking about documents. Here, we are talking about person. The person who is responsible for production of that document will can be summoned by that controller. So, here, these are the things, he can also issue commission for examination witnesses. So many times witness are not in position to come to that particular controller. So, he can also issue a just we can say local commissioner under CPC. So, he has also power of civil court to issue local commission to examine of witness. Either he can uh, this summon them, if there is no possibility there is provision to issue commission for that, for examination of witness also, for documents also. So, these are related with A and B, this part B. So, the, these are the power under section 77. Now, the major thing relating to that is, we have already discussed, he has power to award cost, he has power to review this. Now, the thing is that once a patent is granted, what will happen? For example, in USA, registration was done for the neem or for turmeric. In that case, the CSIR of India, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, filed a post grant opposition. How this is possible? These neem or turmeric are in public, uh, we can say, these domain or traditional knowledge of India relating to its medicinal uh, qualities. So, we have filed a post grant opposition. This post grant opposition can be filed by any person when he did not come to know about that patent uh, when it was granted. So, this controller has power to hear post grant opposition. So, it is also power to mention the inventor of this, he can mention the inventor of patent if he satisfy that every condition is fulfilled here. So, if every condition or he is satisfy ki section 3, section 4, uh, this uh, is not covered under this invention and he, uh, novelty or utility or uh, this inventive step is also fulfilled uh, by this inventor, then he can 
power to mention the name of that inventor. He has also discretionary power. So, now this is a very major thing. So, many this minor thing are covered in discretionary power. For example, he has power to extend the time of particular inventor. In some few cases, there are some exception where the inventor cannot file these application or other things within due time, then the controller on the reasonable cause by writing uh, that cause, he can extend the time of that particular inventor to become to make him patenty. He has also this is also just like a discretionary power, power to correct clerical error. So, there are may be chances, there may be clerical error. So, he can also power to make this correct clerical error. He can also power to call information. If any information relating to patent, relating to inventions, relating to any other thing, specification, he has also power to call. So, the we can say these are also power of civil courts also. So, he has also power to revoke surrender of patents. When particular person or patentee is going to surrender his patent and within that due time, he is mind is changed. So, he has also power to revoke, within, but it must satisfy some condition or that uh, this controller should uh, think, think twice before this revoking of surrender of patent. So, these are the power of controller which must be exercised judiciously and with applying of mind also. So, that this is the main registration process which we are going to know because being an educational or this educational purposes as we have defined section 52 of copyright act yesterday 1957. I am also taking this slide for educational purposes where we can see here you can file and patent application either with provisional specification then or complete specification. So, if you are filing an application with form 1, but you are not filing provisional specification, your application will be rejected. One chance is here you end it. Now, you are filing an application with complete provisional specification and after that you have to file complete specification within 12 months. We have already discussed these things. So, both things are there. You have two options whether go with provisional specification or you can go with the complete specification. So, with first we have to do ki you have file an application with provisional specification and within 12 months you have filed complete specification then publication will be there under section 11a. So, here you can go for the publication for that there may be chances ki pre grant opposition may be come or not. So, publication of that particular thing is necessary here. So, publication is there and after that pre grant opposition is there and for pre grant you can also request under form 18 for examination of patent. So, under section 5 you have to also give a form five. there are four form which are important I want to tell you form 1 that is request for this grant of patent which is up for application we can say of patent. Second F we can we can say F 2 you have to file this complete specification this is F 2 you have to file complete specification within 12 months this is form 2 you have to file complete specification. Now, form Fifth, 5 is there, you have to give declaration. The inventor has to give the declaration relating to that. So, that is the main concern, declaration must be given and now we are talking about the form 18 for request for examination. So, unless and until you do not give the request, the file will not move forward. Similarly, unless and until you do not give the complete specification, your application be rejected. So, it is the duty of the inventor to be vigilant about the processing what is going on in patent office. There is one this you can see online the proceeding of your this application you can see on search in the this IP India website also relating to your 
uh, this patent application status your uh, patent application. So, you can also now exam request for examination can be made with form 18. So, that must be done within 48 months from date of priority that is why we are saying date of priority again and again. So, within 48 for example, you have filed on 1st January 2024. Now, for within 48 month for example, you have filed an application with form 1 with specific uh, these provisional application. Now, you have to file complete specification within 12 months it what it means 31st December 2024 here. Now, after that you can file and request for examination within 4 years. So, now 24, 25, 26, 27. So, up to 31st December 2028 you have to go for the request for examination. So, now examination will be there for patentability or other requirement under this act they have to see section 3 also section 4 also criteria for patent ki whether they have fulfilled the essentials of patent or not. So, now here that we can see here ki this you can also go for the now government of India has also started this expedited examination for the startup. The provisions are made uh, this uh, specific help are there for relating to startup also. Here you can also if simple application is there for any patent for any invention then you can go through this route. Now, government has also uh, this uh, I have seen some data also relating to this uh, startup and other uh, these uh, the companies who are going to help in economic development of a country for example, startup separate data is also there on the internet on the uh, I see in the India state uh, website where separate data is there for examination of startup also. So, how many applications are there for startup for encouragement of that as NPR policy is also giving special encouragement to startup also. So, we can say uh, there is one uh, this uh, this uh, logo also creative India innovative India. So, under that policy this uh, government is going to help financially as well as other helps to the startup companies. So, FER is issued after this from here also and from here now applicant is to be put in order within 6 months for issuing of FER and re-examination can be there if amendment document has been attached with that particular this inventor or re-examination can be done by the controller. Now, if there is something is there if objections are there controller offer a hearing to that. Now, it depends on you ki whether pre-grant oppositions are there or objections are there or any other thing is relating to invention is there controller by using power uh, using power under CPC he can call that inventor also he can call the any other person who has filed the, uh, this objections. So, it is also discretionary power of that if there is no objection then your application for registration will go smoothly there is no such problem. For example, you are going for these registration of physical property for land or something like this. If that property is disputable then it may be published in the newspaper then some objection is there otherwise your registration will be or your will or registration of particular land will be uh, done by the registrar. So, here controller if there is no objection the objection not met with 6 or 9 month if objections are there, but that is not given uh, objection is not we can say you have not fulfilled the requirement of that which objections are saying then your application will be rejected abandoned, but you objections are met within 6 to 9 month, but here this section want to say if some objections are created you are invited for this hearing you have to met with those objection objection has to be cleared by the inventor within 6 or maximum period of 9 months. If those are uh, cleared by inventor then certificate of invent these patent can be granted to you. So, it may take time it may take 2 to 4 year nowadays or because government of India is doing commendable job for this. Uh, this giving uh, patent to everyone by fulfilling the condition by uh, prescribed procedure, but now time is very uh, less uh, 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 taken by this patent office for grant of patents to these. So, we can say 
So, this is a legal procedure where we can say this provide inventor with exclusive ownership. So, why we should go for the registration? It is, it is a legal procedure by which you are entitled for that ownership. You are entitled to use commercial, uh, we can say exploitation of that. You can also restrain other person from using that because it is a prime of si evidence of ownership with you. It is a prime of si evidence ki now you are owner, you can has just like an I card, identity card, you have also patent certificate uh, with you. So, now you are now become patentee. Patentee means a person for the time being enter into registrar as a grantee or the proprietor of a things. Now, you are a register owner. As we are discussing what are the benefit of this uh, registration. Now, any person throughout world from USA, from UK, from Japan, anyone now want to register some patent, first he have to go for the search in patent office uh, website. If your name is there, then he will not, he will debar from registration of that patent. And now, another any other person want to get license of that particular thing, he will approach you and he will give you uh, this, uh, what we can say royalty for that. So, now you are king for 20 years, but as we have already uh, this discussed in previous lecture, this right is not absolute in nature. You have to think on the basis of accessibility, affordability and public policy also under section 84 of Indian Patent Act which is related to compulsory licensing. So, you are king, but with some, some limited powers. So, now you are become patentee, you are have registered owner of that patent. So, now your rights are now started with that. So, you have right specific right special section is there the patent grant under this act shall confer upon patentee where subject matter of now two things are there whether you have go for the product patent or you go for the process patent. When you go for the product patent now you have exclusive right to prevent third party. Similarly, for example, you are owner of float you can prevent other persons from uh, we can say trespass from you entering to your plot or making some uh, encroachment to your plot or in front of your plot. So, similarly, now you have a monopoly right for 20 years, you can prevent third party or other person uh, who is using, making, using, offering for sale without your consent. Now, you are king, you can debar other person unless and until they take permission from you, giving royalty to you or taking license from you for that purpose or importing those product that product India. Now, in case of product you are you have now right to prevent other persons from using these things. Where subject matter is now process. Now, same thing is there you have exclusive right to prevent third party, but now subject is changed. In first case it is a product, in second case it is now process. Now, you have exclusive right special 48 section is inserted is there in Indian Patent Act 1970. Without consent, no one can now use your patent, otherwise you have right to sue. You have right to sue, you, you can file a case against that particular person who is using your product or who is using same process which is taken by you for a making end product. So, in both cases you have right to prevent for selling or importing those things in India. So, there are certain other rights of patentee because now you are exclusive right, you are a registered owner of that, you are proprietor of that particular things. You can take example of that uh, this uh, yesterday we are doing the person who has made ring pull can, the person who has made ring pull can, he has given now he was registered proprietor of we can say this particular ring pull can. Now, he has right to exclude whole world from using this thing unless and until those persons are taking benefit from that. So, now he has sold, now we can also see ki how you can transfer this patent to other person. You can give, you can assign that patent to other person, you can give license to, of that or another thing is you can 
in the way of transmission that is transmission in the case of death it may be done by the act of the law here law is applicable law will do its own uh, this act but in assignment or license this is done by act of parties now as per contract what are the terms and condition of that for example this in pfizer who has given the uh, this license to the this coca cola and earning 2.5 million per day and similarly sabir bhatia has given uh, has assigned so there is difference between this coca cola ring pool can or sabir bhatia hotmail.com uh, this assignment was given to that uh, uh, microsoft so you have right to exclude other it means it is negative right right is created you can also write to exploit patent uh, exploit patent why because now you have monopoly right you can do whatever you want with your that particular patent so you can now take commercial benefit of that for 20 years now it is also uh, now monopoly or exclusive right already there with you you can make use of that you can exercise those rights you can also write to sale you can distribute the patented article or substance in india as why this term india is there because this rights are territorial in nature for example you have now registered your patent in india now you have right to sell right to use in india also but if you are going to use you want to use your this patent right in different part of the world in that case is you have to go for the registration in other countries also so it is this right is territorial nature that's why you can distribute sale or exercise these rights within india so the most important thing now as you have right to exclude other so many people try to use your this invention for their benefit or they will commercially exploit those things there are so many cases uh, tvs and bajaj company cases also there or so many other apple and samsung cases are also there where these company fight with each other on using of these patents and sue each other they are file a case against each other so we will discuss those case law in this patent infringement and remedies in next lecture so but here what i want to say here this registration gives you a monopoly right a registration give you right to sue also and registration is important at as it is prima facie evidence of your registration so you should go for registration so you can file a case you have right to surrender also what it means so many people are there up to 20 year it is not possible for them or when the your patent is not commercially successful now you have right to surrender also you can write to relinquish also it depends on you but because every year you have to renew your patent if it is giving you some financial return then you should go for the what we can say here uh, this uh, renewal of that otherwise you have also right to surrender you are king of your this invention of your patent you can do whatever you want to do you can also destroy your patent you can also give to the public domain also so right to surrender is a good thing right to apply for patent for addition now very important thing if any patent is granted to you and now there is chances of addition as we have done section 3d yesterday there is enhancement in your work if there is enhancement in efficacy or if there is an we can say some type of addition is there on your patent you have also apply for patent of addition very good provision is there under indian patent act controller has also right to hear your this application for patent of addition or there may be chances he will help you to uh, add your patent of addition in your already existing patent is there so after that these there are some duties also because rights and duties are also there with the application of patent so right we have already discussed there are some duties of patents duty to disclose the patent because it is based on the principle of quid pro 
queue. So, unless and until you do not disclose the patent, patent will not be granted. Now, this your publication will come in the public domain, anyone can be searched that, but if anyone is using your patent for commercially using it commercially, then you can sue him, you can file a case against that. So, you have also duty to request for examination as we have done earlier within 18 months, you have to request for the this uh, examination also. So, you have to keep on you have to see the status of your application ki how your uh, application at where, which point it has reached you can also request for the examination we have already done here this application request for examination uh, with, uh, within uh, 48 months from date of priority. Huh? This e publication is for 18 months and within 48 months from date of priority from date of filing of application with provisional specification you can give a request for examination here. You can request for examination and request will be within 48 months. So, you have also duty to answer and clear all the objections. When objections are there, we have already discussed the things which are if some objections are there within 6 or 9 months you have to clear those objections after that that uh, patent will be granted to you certificate of patent will be granted to you. So, you have also duty to pay the fee also there is fee we, we will discuss the fee also specific fees is there for individual also for companies also. So, these are the duties of particular patentee you have to aware about these you have to vigilant about the, these because law help only those who are vigilant. So, these these are the fee for the patent filing for individual person for example, one layman is there or one scientist there who is going to file patent individually in his name then he can file rupee of rupees 1600 rupees. So, individual fees is different or if some small entity is there then fee is different 4000 rupees or for some company is there some MNC is there some other foreign enterprise is there then the fee is different. So, different fee is there for different persons or different companies because this is a we can say natural person fees for natural person is 1600 yesterday we have also done who can apply for that patent it may be an individual it may be a company it may be LLP it may be other. So, LLP all these things will come under the this other this and these uh, these clothes. So, you can file a patent with as in which clause you are coming. So, these are the main thing and this is a procedure for this registration of patent. So, thank you very much for listening to us. Thank you.